Have you ever done something so silly that you finally see a pattern that has been in your own way? What do I mean by being in your own way? Something that sucks my time, my energy that I get focused on that doesn't really matter, that I think is important and takes away from my life. For me, it was coffee pots. I'd been fighting with my soulmate. He broke up with me. I was lost. I was hurt. And we were finally getting along. We were out the fire pit. It was cold. And of course, somehow we got right into it back in our own way. And instead of fighting, I said, I'm going to go make us hot chocolate. When I got up to the machine, I put a coffee pod inside the machine instead of the chocolate and hence started the rescue mission. First, I put it in a to-go cup so the next morning I would be ready when I needed to go. And then I said, oh, it's leaking. I'll put it in a mug. So I cleaned out a fresh mug. And then I looked at it again and I said, oh my God, the mug is leaking. Why don't I just make the coffee to drink in the morning? But I don't like that coffee hot, so I'll have it cold. So I'll put it in a jar. So I took out a clean jar to make the coffee for the next day. And then I realized a week from now, I'm going to be in my refrigerator. I'm going to be grabbing for something. And that jar, whose lid was closed, is going to spill. And it's going to ruin my farmer's market expensive microgreens. And it's going to spill all over. And I'm going to have to spend a roll of paper towels trying to save the 44, the 34 cent pod that I just should have thrown out to begin with. And that was pretty much a look into how I spin my wheels. Checked it with my daughter. She said, Ma, you always do that. He could break up with you. I have to live with you chasing coffee pods the rest of my life. So with that, I ask you, how do you let go of those patterns which keep you stuck? How do you get out of your own way? What do you see in your life that you can let go of and not live that way anymore? What in your life serves as a mirror? For me, it was this little coffee pod that shows you how your thinking drives you off course and makes other crazy. What are the ways you twist and turn that you don't need to? And how do you put things in that add more value to your life instead of subtract to it? Eileen Marcus for 60 and Me. Hope you find your coffee pod and then sail through your day without trouble. Thanks.